Oh, another Christmas present for my son. Pretty awesome, huh? It's probably out here somewhere. Oh, it's cool out here. Oh, the truck bed has been sold. And I want to try out my aluminum. See how this is going to work out. Go. I'm thinking uh, plan is this is going to be two inch C channel steel going across and then I'm going to have a wooden bed aluminum sides something like that something similar to that The only thing is I'm going to drop down two inches. Definitely going to drop the chassis down two inches. Way too tall. Part of building it and not buying it is modifying it. Thanks to the folks over at Oxbeam sent me this nice uh, six switch panel. Uh, it's got 20 amp switches. It's also got a uh, voltage meter and USB charging ports. It's got a uh, 1 amp and a 2.1 amp. And it's also got a cigarette lighter jack. And uh, these are also rated for marine use. They're supposed to be waterproof. Already wired up in the back. That wiring is much prettier than what I had. Uh, looks like it's super easy to install. You just uh, hook the power for the top, the power for the bottom. And uh, each individual switch, you just uh, wire it for power. So I'm thinking about replacing my existing switch panel and maybe relocating it. Um, one thing I don't have on this is my my water pump, which I'm going to add my uh, water pump to this panel. But I don't think it's going to fit in that location, so I'm going to have to find a new location for that. So far, the quality, um, from what I see, I like what I, I like what I see so far. Um, I'm going to install it and see how well it works and uh, maybe give some long-term results. Connector ready to go. Let's go try it out now. Ready for it to uh, start warming up here and come out here and beat on this for a little while. Oh, since we're doing a video on updates and stuff like that, I am leaning, since I'm not going to use this to go on the boat, I'm really thinking about using canvas on the boat keeping it lightweight, almost like a tent. Kind of like the canvas that's in the pop-up right there. But making a skin that rolls up on the side so it can be nice and open when you want to go cruising in the boat. And then have it fold down and zip shut when you want to camp on it. I think that's the best of both worlds. It's not great for insulation, but the way I plan to use it, I don't plan on probably being anywhere in the winter on the water like that. So just a thought, that's something I'm thinking about right now. Nice. Hmm. 
they light up when they're in the other position there. Let me turn off the overhead lights to see how bright that is. Definitely, definitely going to have to do something about that if I'm going to use it at night. Make sure that that glow does not keep me awake. I've got six. I'm going from five over there, and I'm not using one of them, but I need to add my pump. So that's what I'm going to do. I don't know. It kind of fits the uh, the vehicle. This is kind of an apocalypse vehicle, if you think about it. <laughs> Zombie lights, Sasquatch lights, ninja lights. I have to figure out what I'm going to use for ninja lights. To uh, reduce the uh, glare at night from the uh, voltage meter, I plan to um, make it so this last switch, my Ninja Light switch, by the way, I don't know if you can get a close look at the panel, it's got some <laughs> crazy icons on there. Can, and I don't know if you can change these or not. Maybe, uh, maybe you can change the covers on here. I don't know. But you may not want to either. So, um, anyway, this last switch, I plan on uh, making it so that it'll switch the voltage meter on and off. So uh, reduce the glare at night, so I'll be able to sleep with the panel on. And that should be pretty simple. Just patching in a cable uh, power to the uh, voltmeter here, and connect connect it to the switch portion. And then uh, make it power the switch on. That should do it. And it gives me an extra lead for power if I need it for something else. Let's go try it out and see if, uh, if my theory works here. Ha! Just like I want it to happen. And um, these are pretty low key right here, so I'm not so worried about that. Let me turn this light off. Yeah, that right there is not bad at night. Let me turn. That, that won't bother me sleeping. Now I just gotta mount it. Mount it and hook my pump up. I believe this is gonna be the spot. I wanted something that I can hit a uh, light switch on and have the switch come on overhead so that it's easy to get to. So, yeah, I think I'm going to mount it down here as low as possible and right there. I'm pretty happy with them. I wish there was some way to uh, maybe change the the names and the stuff like that on them. So, um, but they're quality switches. Um, they do everything you ask of them. Everything seems to work well. Got it. So I have a light when I come in. I can just hit this switch and uh, turn on my kind of a four-year light here. And uh, yeah, overall, I'm I'm pretty happy with them. That's a nice set of uh, uh, switches there, and they seem to be pretty good quality. So if you guys uh, you might need something like this, they're on Amazon, and I'll put a link in the description. And um, they're made by Oxbeam, and um, just check them out. And on this side, I'm going to fire it up without the turbo, because the way I built the stand, my turbo won't fit on it, unfortunately. And uh, it would have been much better if I would have moved everything over to the right a little bit, my turbo probably would have fit. And I'm trying to pick up little fittings, like I've got this fitting right here. I'm gonna block off my uh, turbo oil supply. This should be a uh, 12 millimeter. Yep. So 
like it's going to fit and it's just going to block it off so I can at least fire the engine up. Temporarily, with no turbo. And I happen to have lost a bolt here. Oops. And I have no idea where that thing went, but I had to order one off eBay and I'm waiting on it to get here, which may be maybe a week now. So it's always something. Hey, thanks for watching my channel. If you haven't subscribed already, uh, please do for future updates. Remember, build it, don't buy it.